Hi guys, so this is my dad's Chevy Volt. It's a 2012 model and this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the stabilizer link. So I was working on this car fixing that famous clicking sound. So I did fix that. If you want to see the video on how to fix that, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But in this particular video, I am going to be replacing the stabilizer link, which I found is bad. The rubber on the stabilizer link is kind of deteriorated and uh, the dirt probably got in. So let me show you exactly what I found. So there's this uh, sway bar link that goes, you know, right here. And uh, here's what I noticed. See this? This thing is broken. So this rubber piece is broken and uh, there's no grease in there, you know. So this thing is just toss. And this is a $15, $16 part um, from AutoZone. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and replace this and see if that fixes the issue. This is the part number that I got from AutoZone. And uh, I think I paid like 16 or 17 bucks with tax. If you buy it from the dealer, it's the exact same uh, part at the dealer. Cost you probably like 30 bucks, you know, double the price. But it's the same. They sell the same to the last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. It's just two bolts, you know, that I have to replace. So if you're only replacing this, you know, uh, I also had to add a clip, so that's another thing my guy did not do. There is a clip right here at the end of this thing. He did not add this clip, so I had to add this clip anyway, so I had to remove the axle. And I pulled this off and put the clip in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall that. But it, that gives me more access to replace uh, this link. But I think it's doable if you, even if you don't remove this, you know, uh, you, we may have to just jack this side up a little bit, you know, just to get that leverage. So let's see how this one comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try removing it right from the bottom. That's an 18 millimeter. Okay, so since this thing is moving what you have to do is uh put some kind of channel lock because this thing will move and just to lock it in place i'm gonna put a channel lock and then you can unscrew it So I end up getting a power tool. Let's see if this one works any better. There you go, a lot easier. You can see how badly damaged this one is and this one is just gone so this is the brand new one i got it to see how hard it is to move so it's not supposed to be that easy to move very stiff Put the new screw in. The new one should go in easily. Make sure you change the orientation to tie this.
I'm using the 3 fourth wrench to tighten it. This one is working a lot better than the other one. Just make sure to give it a nice snug. I don't know what the torque specs are, but I'm just going to give it a nice I think it's nice and tight. So now it's just a matter of installing the top part. And uh, for me to put the top part on, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the entire thing, put everything back on. I'm using the 3 fourth wrench to tighten it. This one is working a lot better than the other one. Just make sure to give it a nice it's not, I don't know what the torque specs are, but I'm just going to give it a nice torque. It's not loose. I think it's nice and tight. So now it's just a matter of installing the top part. And uh, for me to put the top part on, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the entire thing, put everything back on. I'm gonna wait till I install this. So I have uh, some room to move this around.
So I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit and uh, I'm gonna put this strut back in. See, this is raising to that level. There we go. In fact, I should have installed this before I put this on these uh, screws on but oh well that was my mistake so the first thing we need to do is uh, try to tie this whatever with whatever we can work. this the best you can okay this is 18 millimeter Yeah, I think it's nice and tight. Nothing is going anywhere. So, I think everything is nice and tight. Just double check your work, make sure you don't leave anything loose. Okay, so that is it. The link is back in everything is nice and tight now it's just a matter of i'm gonna have to get a new bolt because uh this these threads are bad so these are one-time usable parts i was trying to reuse mine but definitely bad i'm gonna get another one put this on and then put the wheel back on so this is how you fix your or replace your link so guys hopefully you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you